Hello, welcome to Card Minds. Thank you for stopping by. This is going to be a Capricorn yearly money and career reading for 2023. This is a month by month reading. Let's get started. Capricorn 2023 money and career yearly reading month by month. Happy New Year to all, wishing you all success, balance, serenity, lots of money for 2023. Capricorn. All right, so this is a month by month reading. Let's get started. Wow, Capricorn temperance. Interesting. Scorpio started with temperance as well. So this is getting into 2023 in a smooth way, step by step, taking it easy, allowing the new energies to come in, allowing the new to come in. No bulldozing, no pushing, just getting used to the new energies, the new vibes of 2023. I love this temperance card in the month of January. It's all about adapting, bringing balance and patience and moderation in your life, in your decisions, in everything you are wishing for and stabilizing your energies, entering 2023 in a balanced way. You're tuning in to the energies. You're tuning in what tuning into what your path is all about, what your energies are all about, what you're developing, what you're constructing, what you want to do in 2023. So if you're already in something that you like, that you connect with, you know, it's the continuing of that, finding balance, remaining balanced. But it's it's also learning to keep composed now that we understand that these energies are not linear, that they are up and down and chaotic and we never really know what the next step is we never really know we know what we want we know what we're made of although sometimes we have to reflect we have to assess and reassess on what exactly we want in our life and what we want to develop next and so this is getting used to the new flow right the even if there's stressful situations you're really not letting the little things bog you down right it's the smooth entrance to 2023 and with a whole new respect for balance and tranquility and that is really going to help you achieve what you want in your life achieve move on to the next step right it's learning to accommodate all perspectives not to be controversial, right? Not the time to be controversial, really stepping in with balance. And then you have the sun, beautiful. February, the sun, finding success, finding happiness, feeling positive, positive energies out, bring positive energies in that push you forward in the right direction. That's what the sun is all about, excitement, happiness happy happiness to be in the right energy in the right place but also radiating your energy to others to others you love to others you work with to others you connect with sort of connecting to the right people in the right space and that is shining your light and the more positive light or the more positive energy you push out there, the more positive energy comes back in and pushes you forward. That's what the sun is all about. It's also success, happiness, happiness, because you're, you're feeling, you're feeling in the right place, right? March, we have the nine of swords, a little anxiety there. It feels like Okay, so it feels like you have maybe a job you enjoy or, you know, work or a business, something you're, or you're content. 
you're finding, uh, you know, contentment in this beginning of 2023. But there is a decision to be made. April, May, finding your priorities, understanding what is important for you. So is this, um, you're rising up to something else. It feels like you belong somewhere else in a job, in a career, in a business. And the judgment is really understanding that you're moving up or you're rising up to something much more important and that you're ready to act. You're ready to do this. You're ready. So this can be, you know, the judgment is also a rebirth and healing from wounds, healing from the past. It's um, purging all, all uh, disappointments, guilt, and, and understanding that they don't serve you and that is not going to be constructive for your next path, future, next future path, right? So it's understanding what to let go, understanding it's really he, a healing process. So this can be emotional, it can be career, can be job, can be starting something completely new, a complete new career or a complete new job. But it's really inch by inch being ready to act upon what is most important for you, letting go of your old self and really stepping into that newer version of yourself and making those decisions, right? With the two of pentacles, you have a lot to store out in the March, April, May, May, sorry about that. <laughs> May, um, there's sort of like um, a leveling up. Maybe it's a leveling up in a job or a leveling up in your career. And that is obliging you, sort of pushing you to make decisions and really understand what your priorities are. And um, maybe consider something completely new. Let's see what we have for June. Capricorn, yearly, month by month, money and career reading. What do we have for June? Okay, June N. All right, I'm going to put these together. Yes, so there's the end of something. So, but I think that this happens almost that you already know this. It's almost like you already know this at the end of 2022. Because, so two scenarios. Either you already know that you're entering, sorry, let me just push this up a little bit. Are there either you already know that this is going to be different and that you're stepping into something new in 2023? You already know that in 2022. So you're you're starting um, this new year, 2023, in a much more serene way because sorry about that. I'm just trying to get this aligned. All right, because it's um it's something you have decided. It's a new, a new game plan, a new career, a new job. And, and it's, yes, there's, it's the, because there's the end of something here, but it, it's back and forth and back and forth. You start smoothly, happy, happy, and then boom, you have to make a decision and boom, you have to sort things out, understand exactly, you know, what you have to take or keep or take. And then, you know, there's a real um, uh, moment of floatment here of indecisiveness in the month of June. Should I stay? Should I go? Should I take that job? Should I not? Should I, you know, um, I, I, I'm not sure where I want to go. But you have this whole process here where I think here you understand that it's going to happen. But it's it's almost like you're at the end of a job here excited because there's almost like a new job lined up or a new project lined up or a new business lined up take it as it resonates it will be different for everyone but um but then in the month of um april is, is the month where you have to make the decision to move on to the next level in your career to take that job to start your own business because it's a clean slate and it's really important for you to sort of heal from past 
disappointments or a past job that you lost, which is possible with the Ten of Swords. Doesn't have to be that because I think it's really in the past. So it might have happened, but I feel like it's almost already happened in 2022. It doesn't have to be. But you're you're indecisive. You're indecisive. You're positive. You're excited. And it's going to be successful, but it's a big shift. It's a big decision and a long-term decision. And so that is something that um, makes you pause and reflect on, an, on what is most important for you, what you want to push forward. Yes, and there we go. We have this growth period, creativity. So you can be starting your own business. You can be, uh, if you're artistic, if you create, if you create anything, objects, music, uh, if you design, if you style, anything, right? You are growing in your um, talent, developing your talent and I think you're scared of that I think it's anxiety driven but you're excited and it's successful you're you go from um chill being chill about it and but underneath sort of boiling underneath and and nervous and anxiety driven because there's a lot to do there's a lot to sort out you're not quite sure how you're going to handle this and you're 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 stumbling upon your decisions but here we have the empress where you finally understand under the temperance you understand what this is all made of what you have to do to make it work what you have to do to make it successful. This is your job. This is your business. This is your talent. This is your opportunity to grow. You're in a period of growth um, in this month of July. July is the beginning. Uh, the beginning, the roots are growing. The plants, the colors, it's it's spring and you are sort of blooming with creativity. Now, this can be your creativity. It can be artistic, but it doesn't have to be. It's just very emotional for you. But the Empress is all about the beauty of the world, the beauty of emotions, but also um, the aesthetics of the world, right? You can be creating jewelry. You can be... Um, uh, a gardener. You can be, again, um, uh, creating perfume, uh, senses, but it can also be about healing, helping others, guiding others, listening to others, um, being there for others uh, in, a, in a job or a business that can help others, that can guide others or heal others, right? This is what the Empress is all about, coming into your creativity, coming into your own. I love this, but it's also a thorough understanding after the back and forth and back and forth. I feel like hesitation, anxiety, excitement at the same time, and that rebirth, ready to act, ready to start that clean slate on something completely different, but much more connected to your soul, much more connected to you. You're deciding, you're sorting out. And I think that it takes the sorting out to understand where you stand and what where this is all going yes it's new page of wands exciting um you can be working with younger people doesn't have to be um but it's a, an exciting vibe uh, you're reinventing yourself and you're really um connecting to this new job new new opportunity, new business. There are no aces. So I think this is something that you've already planned out in 2022. That's why you're serene, even though there, there's a lot of work on the table, even though, even though you have to think, you have to make decisions, you have to sort things out, there's a lot to do. It is something you're comfortable in, in the beginning of 2023. Excited. You're excited that that's what you're going to do. This is your year, Capricorn. You're going to make it all happen. You're going to bring it all together. Yes, a high priestess, higher knowledge, higher experience, higher skills. You can be going back to school, but I don't think so. I think you're you're experiencing, uh, you're, you're bringing in new knowledge. You're opening up to new knowledge. Maybe people with a lot of experience, a lot of diplomas, maybe you're in a in a sector or in an environment that requires a lot of knowledge. Um, she is aware 
you know, follow your intuition. That's like the height of awareness there. You understand where you're going. You understand what you're, what you're entering here in 2023. This is August. So, you know, from June on, January, February are cool because you know this is going to be exciting, but you haven't gotten into the nitty gritty yet. Then you have to make decisions, right? And it's not easy. It's almost like you have to detach yourself from something before you can start this new job, career, business, you know, and take it as it resonates. It'll be different for everyone, but you have to, you make the decision Here's the, you make the decision in 2022, so you got this, and you're happy with your decision, and you're dis you're excited, and you know it's going to be good, and you're vibrating positive energies, and but then you have to, you know, get into the logistics, into the reality of things, and making decisions, and planning out, and maybe financial, you know, financial planning, and you know all kinds of things, and and that is giving you. A little anxiety, but it's also you have to make decisions to end something. So maybe you're still in a job, but you know you're creating something else and you, you know you're moving on to something else and that you have to decide to um, get out of that job, to move into your own thing, your own creativity. And this is a beautiful period of growth. And it's also, I feel, um, yeah, a calmer energy. It's a calm energy. Even though you have a lot on your plate, there's a lot to do. Uh, but it's a calm energy and it's an energy where you understand what's going on because it's well planned out. Not surprising, Capricorn, because yes, there you go and you're working. Um, this is October. So September, you're gaining more skills, but gaining awareness, but also um, I feel like you're with people. That's what I said, with people with a higher knowledge maybe you're all on the same knowledge skill don't don't get me wrong but there's a lot of knowledge involved in this team building there's you're not alone here so you're either building a team or joining a team or joining a company or joining a do a job or um a project uh, it, can, it feels like a project a little bit, or it's your business and you're building a team. No matter what, you're not alone and you're making very important decisions here in 2023 um, in growing and building and um, the desire to make this all happen, but very planned out, very planned out. Comment down below if there's anything you have already decided in 2022 and you know it's going to happen in 2023, even though maybe you don't know exactly when. Although, although this seems very precise though, even though it's freaking you out a little bit because there's, there's a lot to do, there's a lot to decide with this two of swords, you know, sort of stuck. Should I leave? Should I stay or should I go? Or should I go with that team or that team? Or should I go with that company or that company? Or, you know, who's going to join me in my business? That All that. All right, let's see. November, December. Oh, well, there we go. These just popped out. November, Queen of Wands. I love that. Beautiful building energy. You have the page of wands and the queen of wands i love that and and the um seven of wands of course protecting your space but you, you know persevering it's just you have to stabilize yourself and protect your space your creativity your knowledge your ideas especially if it's your business right capricorn but you're you're creative you're bold you're putting yourself out there in 2023 a lot to do all of these readings are very well developed i feel like 2022 was so scattered and so chaotic that i feel like almost like whoever can do it is holding the reins for 2023 and really trying their best to be logic, be disciplined, and be serene on the choices and just, you know, hold those reins really, really tight close to you so it doesn't scatter all over the place and try to, you know, keep those energies close, close up. All right, let's see. 
Capricorn yearly money and career. Let's see if we can um, pull some cards on the judgment here in the month of April. Why is, why is the judgment here? Oh, yes. Well, there's a decision there. Okay, double. Why is the sun here? I don't even have time to, yeah. Okay, this is all going here. The Ten of Swords. Yeah, it's a lot of, the, it's the decision, but you're you're going to be comfortable with this decision with the, um, with the Queen of Cups. Um, there for others, deciding, uh, listening, guiding. You can be guiding. Almost like I want to put this Queen of Cups over here on the Empress. Um, it, there is the end of a job here or the end of a situation or the end of, yes, the end of a, uh, a situation. Can be life situation, can be job situation, but it's coming up. It's gradual and I think you're aware of that and you know that. It's not a surprise. We don't have the tower. This is something that you know is going to happen. And even though you know, yeah, even though you know, you're whew, you're tired of it. It's difficult, right? And we have the, ooh, the, the fool right there. So it's a complete new journey. So yes, even though you know it's happening, it's still not easy. It feels like, yeah, it feels like it's something gradual, uh, gradually getting into a new career or a new job or starting your own business or something like that because we don't have an ace. So this is something that has already, you know, built up in your mind. This is something you've already planned. But there's something here that you have to, that comes to an end. And I feel like maybe it's a job, you know, maybe you've decided finally to start your business and, but you have, you actually have a job that you enjoy, but you know, it's time and you know, it's time, you know, it doesn't always have to be bad to change careers. It doesn't always have to be bad to change jobs. Sometimes we're just ready. We're ready to take on our own. We're ready to be our own boss or we're ready to take on a new, you know, a new project or, or finally start our own business, our own thing. And, and because I think you're, yeah, I think you're done. You're done with that energy and you're ready to move on. Let's see if there's one more card that wants to come out in the second deck. Oh, there are many that came out. All right, hold on one moment. Yes, I'm in a different location. Let me just grab those all right so we have again the judgment so you know i think you're you're healing and purging past situations and and in that healing comes in you know your new endeavor your new desire or not maybe not new desire but the excite the the energy to be able to finally start your own thing yes there we go there's a confirmation of the nine of cups i don't know why these cards are all over the place today the nine of cups or maybe it's me um the nine of cups obviously it's me nine, nine of cups um is your dream this is what you want to do. This is your project. This is your baby. This is what you're developing. So yes, that comes, that all comes together. Queen of Wands, you have the Page of Wands, King of Wands, and now the Queen, the King of Wands. Very, very eager to start, eager to build, eager to build your business. You're very, you're very ambitious in this and you are going to make this happen. That's why you have the sun. You're just excited to make it happen. But yes, it's hard. Nothing is easy. Nothing is easy. It's stressful to have your own business or it's stressful to become independent or, you know, freelance or something like that. It feels like you are coming into your own though. Two times the judgment. This is rising up to something. You're destined to more. You're destined to different. You're destined to your your, your talent, your gig, your thing, Capricorn. It's well thought out. Kudos to you. You're doing a beautiful job. And this is really all coming together 
in a team. You're not alone here. Uh, all coming together in 2023. Higher knowledge, higher experience, and really pulling it all together. Good for you, Capricorn. Absolutely amazing. All right, let's see if there's one last message for the road. Capricorn, yearly money and career, 2023. One last message for the road for Capricorns. Here we go. What was that that popped out? Page of Swords. It's a new idea. You have you. It's a new idea. You're 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 learning along the way, but you're you're really clear on what this is. It's new, right? It's new. It's the beginning, it's the excitement of a new beginning, but it's also that you're really eager to learn. You're, you know, it's that um, enthusiasm to dive into something new and eager to learn something new. Can be learning something new with others, but also it's a group effort, it's a team effort, and I think you are learning a lot, but others are too, because this is the start of a new life path, career path. Beautiful, beautiful reading, Capricorn. I hope you enjoyed this reading as much as I did. Please comment down below. Let me know what you had in your mind. Let me know what's going on, what you're planning for 2023. Thank you to all for supporting this channel, for being so wonderful in 2022. I wish us a beautiful 2023 with lots of ambition, creativity, success for all, abundance for all. Uh, please comment down below. Uh, let me know if you enjoyed this reading. And um, I will see you next time for the continuing weekly readings. Happy holidays to all and happy new year. Happy 2023. I wish success and abundance to all. Take care. Capricorn. Bye-bye.